This project is about using the full potential of a smart contract based blockchain to manage and store call detail records called CDR. In the wake of pandemic, fast growing VoIP industry, impetus to work from home and growing remote communication platform market have brought one challenge to light, maintaining call history without sacrificing privacy and authenticity. The current communication networks are overburdened with multiple records for a single call from various endpoints and segments of overall VoIP infrastructure like telecom service providers copy. The call record copy from intermediary over the top telephony players and the copy from the small scale hosted PBX or software solutions like call centers, enterprise apps, e-learning, telemedicine or other superware WebRTC platforms. There may be conflict in information from these multiple sources of truth for the call record data. And the problem is especially grave in ad hoc peer-to-peer -peer WebRTC over the top solutions where call records are not even preserved well for auditing. So what is a CDR? A CDR is the proof of work for any call or transaction in a communication network. CDRs are primarily used for billing and invoicing. The three mandatory fields a CDR must contain are the originating or caller details, the destination or the callee details, and the timestamps to mark the start and end time of the call indicating its duration. For an internetwork call, it can also contain the ID of the network that it used to facilitate the call and the unique ID called call UID to uniquely identify the call within that network. Other optional fields may include the media opinion scores, the fault conditions or the statuses for the call like user busy, temporary failure, call redirection, not found, etc. Current communication systems use CDR for billing, but existing methods of call detail record storage are subjected to mismanagement, ransomware attacks, data breaches and provide no transparency or authentication. Tools used to store the call records include NoSQL, MongoDB, Redis Cache, Kafka, and some LTE-based tele telecom carriers can use SQL or RDMS too. However, yet, often the CDRs find their way into Excel sheets, FTP servers, and are very prone to ransomware attacks. Most of the times, as soon as a network is compromised, a ha hacker heads straight to the internal database for call detail records. My proposed solution revolves around decentralizing call record storage using blockchain-based smart contracts. The proposed solution revolves around using the RSK infrastructure framework and services like RSK smart contract blockchain and RAF storage for decentralized storage on IPFS network. The call detail record copies from various stakeholders in a call are collected and updated on a smart contract in a blockchain, thus making them immutable. The demonstration of this proof of concept consists of this simple call architecture, wherein two party, one on a mobile WebRTC browser and one on a desktop WebRTC browser, on a WebRTC compatible platform such as Chrome or Mozilla, are going to make a peer-to-peer -peer call to each other via an open source library called JSSIP. This call will be channeled via a SIP server called Camilio, which is also a very popular open source SIP server. As this call is made, the details of this call, such as CDR, which are generated post a call, such as this, will be pushed to the blockchain. On the Remix online IDE, the contract uh, consists of three functions to create a transaction, to read a transaction and to read all the transactions. A new call transaction would be a call between two parties uh, and the read transaction would be to fetch uh, the CDI values that have been written to the smart contract. As we deploy 
are solved, we can see that the deployed contract history shows the three functions that we created, namely new transaction, read transaction and read all transactions. A new transaction will be created with three values, sender who is the caller, receiver who is the callee and the timestamp of the call. Let us see how the call will be updated from the WebRTC endpoint. From the WebRTC endpoint, we will initiate the connection to the underlying network via a wallet such, such as MetaMask. I'm going to use this WebRTC page to make a call to a friend of mine called Hridesh. Hi, how are you? Hola, muy bueno. ¿Qué haces? All right then. I'm going to hang up this call. Essentially, we would see that this call, which was processed from to WebRTC endpoints and channeled via a Camellio SIP server, ultimately ended in it creating a transaction uh, call detail history for this call, which contains timestamps, the from tag or the uh, person from the person who called and the to tag for the person who was called and a call ID. In addition to that, it contains the code that the call was successful and the reason that it was all okay. This data needs to be updated on the blockchain and the same can be demonstrated via the smart contract page. As we update the smart contract on the blockchain, the transaction is now written to the smart, smart contract network and the values are updated. Let's read the values that we've just written. We could see that there are these many values that were updated on the smart contract. A voice over IP telephony network may support thousands of call transactions per second. To make the CDR D app solution scalable, call records are bashed into a file and uploaded on IPFS via RAF storage. Then RSK smart contracts are updated with confirmation and address of the stored file. Thank you for listening.